What is up, y'all? Hope y'all having a wonderful day. We are here for part two, the back nine at Wolf Creek. Finished at even par on the front nine. Would love to finish under par. Hit it well off the tee. Approach game wasn't great. However, you know, even par, first time around, not too bad, and gives us an opportunity to finish under par. We're gonna head straight into the back nine. Number 10, par four, 472. Looks to be pretty straight away. We're gonna aim at that little inlet right there kind of in line with the flag. It's gonna be our target aiming point. It's down the right side. There's a lot of room over there, it should be okay. Thankfully, all this slopes down here kicked all the way down almost into the fairway 154 yards left you can see the flag there on the middle kind of back right of the green see if we can't knock it close with it being uphill and a little into the breeze i'm gonna go with eight iron That one looked pretty good. Just a little left, spun a little bit. Should have a good look for bird. This is the star we were looking for right there. Landed right there, spun back just a little bit. Got about 12 feet, putting back up the hill for birdie. And these views, I mean, are you kidding me? This place is absolutely incredible. Highly recommend it here in Mesquite, Nevada. Oh, that look good for a long ways. All right, par here on 10. We got road runners here. How about this downhill par three, number 11, 215, way down the hill. There's like a little breeze into, but I think I'm gonna hit a seven iron. I think I wanna play this about like 190 maybe. That's roughly my guesstimation right here. So we're gonna commit to it. That ball right there was up in the air for forever. We guesstimated the yardage right. Seven iron was the play. Ended up just a little short of the flag and a little right, but we got a birdie look on kind of a tough little par three. This might be some of the coolest terrain around a golf course that I've ever played. These like rock walls, kind of mud, clay, rock, are just like right off the green and right off the fairway. Makes for some fun golf, especially with these kind of views. Got about 25 feet here, putting across the green. Let's roll the rock. All right, in with the par here on 11. There really are some incredible views out here. I mean, I'm not just saying that this Goes down as one of my favorite courses I've ever played. Would love to get a birdie here on this par five. Number 12, 544 yards. This is the back tee box right there, but this tee box right here, you can kind of see the landing area a little bit better and they're basically identical. So we're gonna tee it up up here. So right there, you can see the green off in the distance. There's the fairway to the right. And I do think our target aiming point it's going to be like somewhere right there.
kind of tough to see it down. I hit it maybe a little right of my target, but I think it should be decent. All right, I got five iron here, 211 yards left. Let's knock it on in two. Didn't come here to lay up. We want an eagle right here. Oh, that wasn't a very good iron swing right there. Like I said, not the greatest iron swing right there. However, if you're gonna miss it, this really isn't too bad. Chipping kind of back up the hill, up a ridge that once it gets up to the top, it might actually break to the right, but we don't really wanna play it too far to the right because then it'll go to the left down the hill. These greens are some of the most undulated greens I've ever played. Makes for a very fun round. All right, so that was a complete misread. Uh, <laughs> kind of chipped it right where I wanted it. That kind of took a firm bounce. However, we got a birdie luck. All right, we're in with the par here on 12. We are even par through 12 holes, even par here on the back. We're on to one of the coolest holes that I remember from Tiger Woods, the video game. This is that drivable par four that if you can power it up and hit full max 120%, you could hit it up over the rock corner. I'm not even gonna say rock, almost like mountainous corner to the green, straight in line. It's 350 yards, however, I do believe this is probably going to be playing because I am cutting off a little bit, maybe 330, 340. So if we hit a good tee ball, we can get there. And I didn't come here to hit an iron down there on the bottom left. That's that's not why we came here to Wolf Creek. Tina, how I let it fly. So my guesstimation for a line is somewhere right in there. There's like that rock right there. It's going to be my target aiming point. I know that seems aggressive, but I do think the green probably goes even a little further to the right because it is around that corner pretty good. I hit that one very well. That was just a little left of my intended line. It cut back just a little bit. I think it should be pretty good. Maybe left side of the green? Who am I kidding? I haven't played this hole on Tiger Woods the game in probably 10 years, so I don't really remember the line. Hopefully we picked a good line. And that is what we were looking for. That was pretty much left side of the green. Just hit it a little long. We're going back up the hill here, probably about 25 yards. That's the direction we came from. And just to point out, there is still snow on those mountains right up there. Probably some people snowboarding. I don't know, can you see the snow? Can we see any snowboarders there? Looks pretty cool to see the snow on top of those mountains while you're like in the desert with definitely no snow. That was a monster tweeter right there on 13. Let's go. That moves us to one under through 13 holes. We've got a great opportunity to shoot under par. First time around, Wolf Creek. Number 14, par four, 444. Looks to be kind of a split fairway there. We're going with driver again. <laughs> like I said in the first video, I was uh, cautioned not to hit driver very often. However, we're hitting it pretty good. And I mean, I really did come here to lay up. Our target aiming point's gonna be just right of our golf cart there. You can see the green sitting off there to the left. Oh. 
That was a little left of my intended target. All right, well, there's the ball right on the edge of the cliff. It is in the grass, so it is not in the dirt and desert. This is what we're faced with. Back up the hill, you can see the pen right there, just over the corner. Our good guesstimations were probably gonna end at some point. Uh, that was not the line I needed to hit that on. I need to be aiming well right of that so we could be in the fairway. So lesson learned, next time we play here, 101 yard, so sand wedge. We're just gonna try to get something up there on the green. We'll take that. I think we're putting, let's go roll the rock. So unfortunately I'm not even close to putting. No, um, I thought that pin was on the back left of the green. It's uh, on the front right. So we were well right of the green. Pin's kind of in the front there and slight up slope. So hopefully we can kind of bump it into that and let it uh, snuggle up there close. I clipped that pretty clean, landed firm. We got a little work to do. Needed that to wiggle just a little to the right. Unfortunate bogey right there. The wind has started to pick up. Down the hill, par three, number 15, 125. Pin is very accessible. This is a green light special, pitch and wedge in hand. That wind started picking up and that was way too much club. For this high of elevation, that was a pitching wedge, and that is a low one. And with par. The wind has kicked up immensely. I, If I'm talking up there, you're not gonna be able to hardly hear me. We've got par four, number 16, 393 straight away. I'm gonna be hitting a four iron, hopefully on a decent trajectory. Tough to see the landing area up there. So we're gonna aim kind of down the left side. I'll put a little target on the screen. So I hit that four iron remotely decent, but it did kind of balloon a little bit. And there was a canyon right there and our ball ended up right there. Yes, this wind is picking up very quick. I've got 175 yards left. The pin is kind of just over that bunker. I'll set the camera up and give you a target aiming point. With this wind picking up, I and how far I just hit that four iron, I think I gotta go six iron. I'm gonna hit six iron. I think that's the play. I mean, we're right back into the wind.
to know how far the ball's going to go out here with this wind and the elevations, but I hit that really good. That is the drive we were looking for right there. 220 yards left. Green sits off back to the left. You can see the green right back there. It is right back into the wind. I am going to go with a four iron here. I need to hit this well, and I do believe I've got a little room left. If I pull it just a little bit, should be okay. All righty, there is where I landed rolled to there this is what we're faced with for eagle this is what we've been looking for right here little momentum finishing strong if we could roll this in that would move us to one under with one to play we've got roughly uh, 18 feet left here for eagle be the first eagle camera dropper here on this little trip to nevada and utah that would be a great way to start it off see if we can't roll the rock pin slammer here on 17. Par four straight away, 307. The winds are gusting. I don't even know what some of these gusts are gusting up to. Probably like 30. It's almost a steady 20 mile an hour breeze now. 307 straight away. We're going four iron and then hopefully wedge it close. I think that's our best opportunity to make birdie here on the last and finish under par here at Wolf Creek on the first time around. That'd be fun. That's what you're looking for off the tee right there to end it. 84 yards left. Pin looks to be kind of up on a shelf there. So I'm going to try to hit a little sand wedge, knock it down. This wind has really made these last several holes pretty difficult. So need to be precise with the yardage here. I think that's on a really good number. Like I said, that is how we like to end it right there. It landed right there, spun back. Thankfully, it didn't keep spinning back because it could have uh, trundled all the way back down to the front of the green. However, putting right back up the hill, 10 feet for birdie to finish one under. Why did we not hit it? That is the question. It is right back up the hill. We've got an opportunity to finish under par and we don't hit it. Yeah, yeah. Obviously I wanted to see that putt fall, but had so much fun. Want to thank Wolf Creek so much for having me out here today. That was challenging. There were those last several holes with the wind kicking up. Yeah, that you got to bring your game if you're finishing into that kind of wind right there. Finished decent, would have loved to have seen that putt fall there. Just didn't give it enough pace. There's no excuse for that. And finished at even par. Happy with that though overall around this course. Not an easy course. A lot of lines that I was kind of guessing on that worked out. So very thankful for that. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, Ostrich, my brand, we've got hats, polos, pullovers, hoodies, tees, all that good stuff. Gonna be down in the description down below. Just click the link. If you're up for supporting the channel, it would be greatly appreciated. And as for me, Mesquite, Nevada, Wolf Creek, we'll see you when we see you. Peace.